Hey everyone, getting ready to cook up another Dutch oven meal. Tonight's menu, Dutch kielbasa. Check it out. All right, so we have the Dutch oven heating up here to about 350 degrees so we can start frying up the onions. The ingredients for this recipe are pretty simple. We got two pounds kibasa or smoked sausage. We got two onions, but we're only using one for this recipe, but the recipe calls for two. We got three bell peppers and a medium can of pineapple. And you're also gonna include the juice in as well. And also two tablespoons vegetable oil to uh, saute everything up. So I'm gonna get this heated up and then we'll get the process going on forward. All right, well the Dutch oven is warmed up pretty good right now. So we're gonna get the onions sauteed up. And we're also gonna throw in the three bell peppers. And we'll saute these up until the onions start getting a little translucent. There's a little bit of grass in there. And then we'll get stewing. That looking looking really nice right there. Alright, we got our onions all translucent right there. Gonna throw in our sausage and saute this up for a little bit and then uh, after we get this warmed up we're gonna throw in our pineapple and juice and then throw the lid on and let it simmer for about 35 minutes All right, we got our sausage in there for a little bit. I'm gonna add the pineapple and the juice. Never tried this recipe before, but it's smelling, smelling pretty good and looking pretty interesting, so I think it'll be pretty good. I'm gonna stir this up here a little bit. And like I said, we're gonna put the lid on and let it simmer for about 25 minutes. All right, I initially uh, stated that we were gonna cook it for 25 minutes. I forgot to say it's actually 35 minutes. So it's been 35 minutes now, I'm gonna dish up. I was a little worried that, uh, that it was gonna stick, but that pineapple juice really uh, gave it some moisture in there and didn't uh, allow it to stick at all. So, stuff's really hot, I'm gonna have to let it cool down. So we'll uh, let it cool down a little bit and then give it a taste and let you know what we think. All right, well, we've had a few bites. I think it's pretty good. It's it's different. We've never had anything like that before. What do you think about it? Took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good, though. The, uh, the pineapple gives a good taste. You can still taste the pepper a little bit when you bite into it. The sausage or kibasa, it's good. But the pepper does kind of soak up. Uh, the pepper and onion do soak up the pineapple juice taste, so it's, it's really pretty good. Uh, the kibasa is cooked really well and once again I want to say you cook it for 35 minutes at about 350 degrees let it simmer so thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed it and if you like kibasa try this recipe it's pretty good bye bye